Hello, friends, and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. Friend, let me invite you to pick up your Bibles today. Turn with me over to the book of Romans. We'll be in Romans chapter 13. I want us to look at verse number 11 today. Get a cup of coffee. Let's sit together. Have an encounter with God and His precious Word on this beautiful day. Well, praise the Lord. What better way to get a new day started than a good fresh cup of hot coffee and studying the pages of God's precious and holy word. Well, friend, the Bible says over here in Romans thirteen eleven, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed. Friend, today I want to bring to you a devotion that I've titled Awakening. He is still God. You know, before this present age of arrogance and rebellion against God, there was a time when faith in God was truly reverenced. There was a time even when the heathen, respected those who truly believed in the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, many people believe that God can be ignored until some kind of emergency happens or some kind of crisis appears. Today, the only time many people get terribly religious is when their life or the life of someone they love is threatened Today, my friend, we are in a power-driven technological age where just about any kind of power is available to just about anyone. We are trying to clone or have cloned human beings. We are trying to modify our weather. For many people, they firmly believe that they no longer need God. Now, previously, in the times before our industrialized and technological-driven era began, most people would have agreed that there were some things that we could not do on our own or even help, or even with the help of others. However, today, my friend, we live under the delusion that we have just about any kind of power we need for just about any kind of purpose. A day of awakening awaits those who are caught up in this kind of arrogance. And I believe that we're seeing that right now during this time of pandemic and unrest. Now think about it. One day, we had a booming economy and was on top of the world. The next day, a terrible virus hits and our world stops. I believe personally God has slowed our arrogant spirits down just to let us all know that he is, did you hear me? That he is still God. And if there's ever been a time that we need to call on his precious name, we're living in those times right now. Friends, wake up. He's still God. And we still need him. Pray with me. Father, thank you for this powerful verse of scripture that reminds us it's high time to awaken out of our sleep. For our salvation is nearer now than when we believed and trusted the Lord Jesus. Awaken us, O Lord, and help us make a difference in your world by showing people your love your mercy and your grace and more important than that your wonderful wonderful gift of salvation and we'll give you praise and thanks in jesus name amen well friend i pray you'll do just that light up your world for the lord jesus let others see christ in you Your life could be the only Bible some will ever see or hear from, so let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. God bless you. 
Have a wonderful day.